Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we are going to take a look at some defended gameplay of the new buffed Sepula. And I'm actually pretty impressed with how Sepula turned out. Of course, the bug with the Howitzer Tower does make things more challenging, but Sepula is well equipped to manage that. So the first base we're going to take a look at is a short island with level 90 towers, 6.5 billion defense, and level 90 towers are above tier for my Empyrean Sepula, which is not even at max level. And this base is even defensive. Defended. Sepula is very capable of handling short bases because of the summons attack and HP, as well as the shield you get from ashes to ashes and being to being able to freeze all the towers that are there. So the summon only lost about half the health, and we're just going to speed up through this. I know a lot of players often ask, can they handle farms and mills? Sepula is able to handle the farms and mills because once you freeze them with death shriek, ashes to ashes does a lot more damage and can help to take those towers out quite quickly. This is a second run against the same base and I did a little bit better on this run and uh, the dragon uh, summon itself didn't lose nearly as much health on this run because I froze the towers again and kept the damage towers locked down with the freeze spells and once again going through even with this spam hammers I was able to lock down some of the towers and then deal enough damage to the farms and mills without having them healed back up. This next base is a long island with level 82 towers and just over 7 billion defense. This is just a little bit below tier, but I did attack this base without boosts on to even things out a little bit. And it only has one defender and I have a few runs to show, but you can see that Sepula is fairly strong at clearing this uh, two island middle long. This attack, I did let the summon die unfortunately, but I do manage to do a little bit better in the next flights. First I used Death Shriek and then Ashes to Ashes to destroy the Earth Flak. And then once the towers were unfrozen, I used Death Shriek again. What I struggled with is continuing to apply the Mark spell as frequently as possible. And then I primarily use Ashes to Ashes to help destroy towers and lock down the ones that are most threatening. Now, the other thing to be careful with is if you get a little bit too tap happy, you can cancel the auto battle feature. So you will be losing out on the auto swipes if you don't enable it again. So what I had to learn was to be a little bit more calm and collected than I am with Hunters. With Hunters, it's a lot more fast-paced and spamming. And with Sepula, you do have to think a little bit more slowly and tap a little bit more cautiously, especially if you want the auto battle feature to stay active. This base is almost 10 billion defense and it is level 89 towers. So this is... Uh, more than I can have at my current level, so even a little bit above tier for the level of my Sepula, but not a full tier above. And this base is only single defended. You can see I take out the Earth Flak first, and then I focus on the Lightnings at the back, and then I go to use Ashes to Ashes on the back Howitzer, because otherwise it would kill me. And I was able to get through most of this island uh, quite well, and Sepula did have almost 50% health, and same idea with the farms and mills. Once you freeze them with Death Shriek, they take a lot more damage, so ashes to ashes, and the summon can burn through them quickly. You'll see I did leave one tower back there, unfortunately. I was not able to 100% it, but I feel like this was a pretty good run, especially with limited practice so far. This run is triple defended on that same base above tier slightly. Now, I was not able to defeat this base, unfortunately, but I did manage to survive through the kill island and destroy some of the towers in it, which I was kind of surprised. And part of that is related to the fact that they were super shotting the howitzers, so I didn't have to freeze it with ashes to ashes, so I could use it to focus on killing other towers closer up. Now, unfortunately, I did get rage drained, and at that point, there is not a whole lot that you can do unless you can put the mark down and kill a tower to get back rage. But with this hammer spams, if you don't have rage to use ashes to ashes, you struggle a lot. But I was able to get through the farms and mills once again after I had regained some of that rage, and I did end up getting 50% and weaken that base. So now a follow up dragon can much more easily clear that island. And now finally, the last clip, the one I am most satisfied with, especially with limited practice so far, double defended against that same base. I focused on the lightning towers on the back there first, and then took out the earth flak. And then after that, I had to freeze the howitzer tower before it killed me with its shot and tried to continue to lock down the towers up front. I did not 100% it, but I did do fairly well, especially with double de defenders and hammer spams. So I think that was a very successful run with Sepula 
attacking towers a little bit higher tier it's not even fully ruined and um gear is not i optimal so with a fully ruined sepula and at tier even two defenders doesn't seem to make a massive difference i did leave two towers there but with runes and a little bit more practice i think sepula will be much more successful in the right hands so again, Sepula is not quite as high a skill dragon as Calivor, but apparently is very viable for current meta of the game. And hopefully once the Howitzer Tower is fixed, it will be a little bit better. And with the proper runes and a little bit of effort into learning Sepula, I think Sepula is a very decent option for a mythic this season for those who are not quite as skilled flyers or just don't like hunters so thankfully with this buff i do feel sepula is a much more balanced dragon let me know what your thoughts are and how you feel about it in the comments below and what you think of the defended gameplay from this video and i will see you in the next video